Now we are going to discuss TAPVC that is Total Anomalous Pulmonary Venous Connection. It is also sometimes known as TAPVD, Total Anomalous Pulmonary Venous Drainage. All the four pulmonary veins instead of draining to the left atrium are draining to the right atrium through veins which reach the right atrium either superior or inferior vena cava. So the baby will be cyanotic at birth and maybe in heart failure also. Then if all the four veins are anomalous it is total anomalous pulmonary venous drainage. If only a few of them either two or one is abnormally draining to right side then it is called as partial anomalous pulmonary venous connection. Partial anomalous pulmonary venous connection is not a cyanotic heart disease. It is an cyanotic condition with left to right shunt. In total anomalous pulmonary venous connection, an atrial septal defect is mandatory for survival. This atrial septal defect will shunt both ways. So there is mixing, good mixing between the two atria which is necessary for survival. If the size of the AST is small, there will be difficulty in survival because of severe cyanosis. And there are three types of TAPVC. One is the supracardiac TAPVC type 1. And in this condition, all the pulmonary veins drain to a common venous chamber. This is usually situated behind the left atrium. And from the common pulmonary venous chamber, a vertical vein goes upwards. And this drains into the brachiocephalic vein. From the brachiocephalic vein, the blood reaches the SVC. That is the circuit in type 1 or supracardiac TAPVC. This circuit is responsible for the famous X-ray appearance. The heart below and this circuit together will form the figure of 8 appearance on chest X-ray. It is also known as snowman in snowstorm appearance because this is a smaller part and this is a bigger part becomes like a snowman and snowstorm is these patients usually may have pulmonary edema so the lungs will be congested even if there is no pulmonary edema there will be increased vascularity which will appear like a snowman in snowstorm appearance another name is cottage loaf appearance two pieces of a cottage loaf appearance in the second variety known as intracardiac TAPVC or type 2 the common venous chamber is there but instead of draining upwards into the brachiocephalic, it drains downwards into the coronary sinus and hence into the right atrium. The AST will be there because it is essential for survival. And when you do an echo, as in the previous case, the common venous chamber will be seen posterior to the left atrium. But the opening from the common venous chamber into the left atrium will not be visible. Instead, the common venous chamber can be traced into the coronary sinus and further color doppler will show blood flow into the right atrium. That is the intracardiac variety of TAPVC type 2 draining into the coronary sinus. This is the third variety that is the infracardiac or type 3. In this, the common venous chamber drains downwards intra-abdominally and connects to the portal vein and into the hepatic sinusoids, the blood drains into the inferior vena cava. This circuit by itself is obstructive because it has to pass through the portal sinusoids. Then they usually present with pulmonary edema very early in life. So this is a very dangerous situation more dangerous than the other two types because this is intrinsic the circuit is intrinsically obstructive because when pulmonary veins are obstructed the natural sequence is pulmonary edema 
obstruction to pulmonary venous outflow can also occur in supracardiac variety it's an interesting mechanism there is compression of the vertical vein between left bronchus and pulmonary artery this is known as hemodynamic vice it is a vicious cycle that is when the vertical vein is obstructed there will be pulmonary congestion increase in the pulmonary venous pressure which is transmitted to the capillaries and back to the pulmonary arteries so what happens pulmonary arterial pressure rises when the pulmonary arterial pressure rises compression increases so this is a vicious cycle known as hemodynamic vice which can cause obstructive tapc in supracardiac variety as well in tapvc especially the supracardiac and intracardiac variety when there is a large ast they survive significantly longer with uh, not much of cyanosis because of good mixing interatrial mixing but when the ast is obstructive they will have severe cyanosis so those patients will have to have urgent surgery and before they can be taken for surgery many of them require emergency balloon atrial septostomy to enlarge the existing tiny ast a catheter is introduced through the umbilical vein into the inferior vena cava and into the right atrium and a balloon is inflated across the small ast which gets enlarged if there is a delay that is uh, after, uh, after the initial newborn period this may, may not respond to balloon dilatation sometimes they have a procedure known as blade atrial septostomy as well and after stabilization they are taken for corrective surgery in case of uh, infracardiac variety they will need a surgery much earlier because the pulmonary veins are obstructed below that is in the circuit from the common pulmonary vein to the portal veins and into the ivc because of the obstruction in the liver they will require early surgery because of severe breathlessness and cyanosis